Well, it's time to start routering. Got to router the edges of the table. Aft. I think that's the finish that I want. Unfortunately, it occurs to me I don't know anything about routers. I've never used a router. I own a router. I own a really nice router. I inherited it from my father. He bought nice stuff. So I got nice stuff. That I don't know how to use. That does. Yeah. It is a plunge base. I see. And this is a fixed base. I know that because it's clearly labeled. Okay. I assume these are roundover bits. I assume. Oh, I see. Okay, so they're kind of little. Huh. So for three quarter inch plywood. Oh, I get it. It's kind of up to me. Is that the roundness I want? Oh, I get you. Essentially the same. <laughs> I don't think they are though. They're different sizes. Right. That's a real sharp curve that was. Interesting. Huh. Well, maybe I should try them all. I mean it's Yeah. I see that's a collar. See that fits? That should fit. Should be the right or wouldn't be in here. Okay, push it all the way in, pull it back a little ways. It's gotta be a lock so that I can lock this collar down. Oh. It comes with wrenches. Small wrench works for the lock. It does. Okay, so the other wrench must be a must go counter. I see. It does. Oops. Got to get at least finger tight to get started, I think. Okay. Seems good. Swanky. Special. with that. Oh, so that lets it ride. I'll bet you that lets it ride up and down. Ah, ha, ha, I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. So, and then that is the depth gauge. Uh -huh. Okay, so it is. That, I don't want that shoulder showing. And I'll bet that locks it. <laughs> and now, I'll bet I fine tune it with this. Right, right. Did I fine tune it with that? Uh, bound to, bound to be. 
What is that thing doing? So that's where it currently is. So if I open that, I think I want more coming out. Oh, I can depth gauge that quite precisely if I'm of a mind to do so. Huh. Then lock it, I assume. Cool. Okay. I set it where it seemed reasonable to me. Got it on the board. Screwed that corner up pretty badly. But this is just a test board. This is just so I can learn to do this. And I know routers spin clockwise. So I assume that's the way I gotta go. So the router scoops the wood out. It's nice. It's not splintering. It's uh, His bits are very sharp. It seems pretty cool. I mean, that's a, a nice, soft round. That's cool. Let me try some of the other bits. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that seems... I got the corner good this time. Both of them. Ooh, look at that. That's swanky. That looks like that's about the right roundness. I sank the bit down a little deeper. Yeah. Oh, I think I like that. I can live with that. Yeah, that should be comfortable to sit at. When I get painted with the Cerakote, coat, Cree coat, the Cerie coat, the whatever they call it coat, that ought to be beautiful. As long as I can stop from burning the wood. Well, 1953 is the year, the year the Neil bust. Then the tarnish of time turned the legend to rust And my dad, he was a boy when the last chief left the line But I can still remember that is big old 49 Well, the engine had a rumble and the pipes are slung low She's built of dreams and leather and all that chrome And the gauges never worked she ran like fire Daddy never felt himself On his big red 49 Hey, strap yourself on Wrap your arms around my chest We'll point it to the wind Then we ride that baby west You and me and Jesus Leaving everyone behind I can just imagine We're riding Daddy's 49 And we can rumble to the canyons from the deserts to the sea. Cruise across the cornfield like the Sea of Galilee. We can walk on water when we're riding on the breeze. Strap yourself on, wrap your arms around my chest. We'll point it to the wind, then we'll ride that baby west. You and me.
I can hear the motor 